hi hello and welcome or welcome back i feel like it is so rare for me these days to do a sit down video i haven't done one in so long i'm such a fan of vlogs but today's topic is all about skincare and i really just wanted to sit down and go over pretty much everything in terms of hormones gut health um, skincare products that i love treatments that i've done and things that i think are really worth it a few really quick disclaimers i am obviously not a doctor or a professional everything that i've learned in terms of skincare and my own health is literally through my own experience a few years ago i was diagnosed with pcos and if you have struggled with pcos yourself you know that a lot of women will have cystic acne and inflammation on their face they'll even have hair growth that's when i really decided to not just learn about skincare but also just about my body and hormones and gut health which is why i am going to talk very briefly about those two things another quick thing and then we're going to get right into this um there are things in this video that have been gifted to me however i would never put something on my body and recommend it to you guys if i didn't feel 100 percent confident in it and wouldn't spend my own money on it with that said let's get right into this your hormones your gut those things i believe really do affect your skin when my pcos was at its peak when i really had no idea how to go about it i wasn't getting my period um my gut issues were so so bad i've talked about it many times on this channel so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna drag it out but you guys already know i mean it was awful symptoms all the time from anything. Anything would make me bloated and gassy and constipated. And then the other side of that too, it was so, I really felt like a foreigner in my own body. I will insert a video and a few pictures in here as well so you can see that I had insane inflammation in my face. It wasn't necessarily as much in my body, but my face really took it all. You can see that my under eyes were very swollen. My cheeks were swollen. I was also grinding my teeth at night from all of the stress that I was feeling. So my face just kind of ended up expanding, especially my jawline. I struggled with cystic acne as well, and I covered it up a lot, but it was definitely a symptom of PCOS. The only thing I didn't have was I didn't have the hair growth on my face. It took a long time for me to get a diagnosis of PCOS because I didn't struggle with the hair growth and I didn't have a lot of the other symptoms that women with PCOS have. They called my PCOS low grade PCOS or low spectrum, something along those lines. Anyways, after a long period of feeling really shitty and feeling really sorry for myself, I decided to take my health into my own hands. I went kind of the holistic route. I actually talked about it in my last video. Um, so if you are interested in inflammation, acupuncture for hormone health, gut health, all of that, check out the video before this one because I don't want to make this one too long. But um, I started acupuncture, I started taking herbal medicine, I took out my copper AUD that I had that I think was also causing issues and eventually my period came back my inflammation went down i started sleeping better my gut health got so much better it took time it took effort i went to see a lot of specialists and i'm so grateful for the opportunity to, to the privilege to be able to do that that's why i want to relay this information to you guys and hopefully at least point you in the right direction if you are struggling with pcos or skin issues or any of those things i i personally found a lot of help and a lot of good insight when I took the more holistic route. However, I understand that there are so many great physicians out there. And my biggest, biggest um, a piece of advice would be to just find someone who doesn't dismiss you or your symptoms or your experience. Because I found that a lot in the medical field. I found people telling me all the time that, oh, you're depressed or, oh, it's, it's probably just what you're eating. Also, I forgot to say that nothing in this video is sponsored. I should have said that at the beginning. But anyway, um, so... Again, your hormones, your gut health, your sleeping patterns, and the food that you're eating, those are all things that are going to affect your skin. So obviously a healthy diet, lots of water, a good sleeping schedule, lowering inflammation in your body, those are all things that are going to greatly, greatly improve your skin, and we can't disregard those. All right, next topic I wanna to talk about are treatments that I've done. Remember I told you guys that I was grinding my teeth at night from all the stress that I was feeling, so my face, not only was it getting inflamed here, like under my eyes and my cheeks and all of that, it was also growing here. So I went to see Dr. Dr. Patel here in Los Angeles. She's a plastic surgeon. She's wonderful. And I got, um, I don't remember the units, but I got Botox basically injected into the muscles right here. And what that does is it relaxes that muscle so at nighttime you can't grind it as much. I believe your dentist can do it too, but I love Dr. Patel. She's amazing. I saw such big improvement from that. I had it done twice and then 
and then I never actually had to go back again It's been years since I've had it done and my face has stayed pretty slim It hasn't like come back where I haven't been grinding my jaw as much stress has such a huge impact on your overall health If you are chronically stressed that is something that you should address before you spend your money on any kind of skincare or Treatments or products or any of that so TMJ I had done about three years ago and then over the last year once I hit 26 I was like, okay, I really just I feel passionate about health and wellness and skincare is such a big part of that So I started researching holistic skincare specialists here in LA I really wanted to just start getting facials um, Every once in a while as kind of like an upkeep So I found a place called take care body mind I posted about them a few times on Instagram But they are such wonderful people. This is a service that is gifted to me, but I would easily spend my money on this the woman I see there her name is Deborah and she has just changed my outlook on skincare so much a lot of the products that I'm going to talk about in a minute here are very much influenced by her she's so knowledgeable I feel like I've learned so much from her just about skincare and overall health I've had two facials done with her they're each 90 minutes long and we do everything from microcurrent to extractions to exfoliating red light therapy all those things that are so good for you another recent thing that i got to try out that i was so looking forward to was actually with dr patel herself i tried out morpheus 8 if you've never heard of morpheus 8 it's pretty much micro needling in combination with heat the reason i wanted to do it is because it helps build collagen in your face and it also has a skin tightening effect all right, we're about to take the numbing off. The machine is right there. I'm not nervous at all, just so we're clear, because I also get laughing gas, which I am so excited about. And I will definitely let you guys know the pain level, just so we're all on the same page. I have a very high pain tolerance. So it's been a couple of hours since I've done the procedure, and I definitely have some dried blood, but for the most part, I feel no pain and I feel like the redness has gone down. So once I wash the blood off, um, I think it might not even be noticeable. The only reason it's noticeable right now is because of the dried blood, but like it doesn't hurt when I touch it. It looks crazy, I know, but I, I don't think it's as bad like as I saw it to be on TikTok, so. That's my personal opinion. Yes, it hurt. Yes, it looked a little bit wild, but I think once, like tomorrow, I think it's just gonna look like I got a little bit sunburned and then in a week it'll all go away. So, and then we'll see the results. It is 100% my favorite treatment. Dr. Patel was amazing. They recommend you to do between one to three treatments and I've only done one so far. It's been about seven weeks and I feel like my skin has never looked better. I'm such a fan of it. Last but definitely not least, we're gonna discuss all of the skincare products. I know I'm throwing a lot at you right now. I really thought about maybe filming my nighttime skincare routine and morning skincare routine, but there are a lot more things that I'll do on a night where I have so much time or like in the morning where I have time versus a day or a night where I'm really kind of in a rush. So I wanna make this video that's really in depth. That way you guys know everything, uh, but just know that these are not things that I do on a daily basis. We're gonna start off with my nighttime routine. That's the one that's a little bit more in depth. I'll always start off with washing my face. I'll double cleanse. This is my current favorite face wash at the moment. It's the Ocean Cleanser from Osea. They're such a wonderful brand. They are made here in Malibu. After my face is cleansed, I will use my new face device, which this is a microcurrent device. They've come out with a red light attachment, and maybe you guys have seen people have these like red light LED masks that they put on before bed. This is pretty much it, but it's a little bit smaller, so I'll just use it in the areas that really need it. It feels very calming. It's very very nice to use at nighttime. Red light is also so good for your skin. This video is already so long, I'm not gonna go too much into it, but um, there are tons and tons of benefits of infrared light for your face and for your body. About two to three times a week, I'll use this micro exfoliant from Luzerne. Again, I don't use this every single night, but I love this brand. This was actually one of the products that was highly recommended to me by Deborah, and the brand itself was highly recommended by Deborah as well. It is more on the pricier side. After I turned 26, I think I, I became more willing to invest in products that were, I know were going to actually make a difference. So I bought this with my own money. It was expensive but it's amazing. I try to make it last. I don't use it that often, but at least twice a week, especially if I end up wearing makeup that day, then usually that's when I will use this exfoliant. The one thing that I feel like is becoming very apparent these days is that less is more. You don't need a ton of products. You just need a couple products that are really good and that are gonna do what they're supposed to do. One of those products is a hyaluronic acid. I feel like 
it is something that almost everyone needs but the one thing about hyaluronic acid is you want your face to be a little bit wet when you put this on so one thing you can do is just splash some water in your face and then put it on because what it does is it holds on to that water and then it gives your skin hydration whenever it needs it throughout the night so this is a serum from Osea again love this company so much this was gifted to me I use it every single night this is the one thing that I'll do every single night because I do live in California like I said my skin is always so dry I got this facial steamer from Vanity Planet I bought it with my own money not sponsored not gifted nothing I use it every single night my only complaint with it is this little thing to go back in like when you when you shove it back in for some reason it is very difficult I don't know if I have like broke mine or what but but basically you fill this up with water and then you kind of hold it right in front of you steam comes out i don't hold it too close because you don't want to burn your face obviously but it feels so good so i'll do this for about five minutes and then while my skin is still wet i'll put on the serum and then i'll do another five minutes of steaming i'll lay in bed i'll make some tea i'll literally put it right in front of me and i'll be reading my book while it steams my face so really a big fan of it i feel like it works especially if you have dry skin i can't recommend it enough in combination with that serum i feel like my skin finally doesn't feel dry we're honestly almost done with the nighttime routine my only other two steps are just moisturizers this right here is just an under eye cream from coco kind i love this brand so much they're vegan cruelty free all their products are very natural and then i'll go in with my holy grail which is very very expensive i will not trigger coat this for you guys this is a retinol cream from luzerne i'm willing to invest in skincare it's something that i love it's something that i'm passionate about it's something that makes me feel good it has retinol in it and i've tried using different kinds of retinol serums and stuff and they always really irritated my skin i felt like it made it really dry and kind of patchy even if i used just a little bit of it it just never really worked but i think because this is mixed in with a moisturizer it's just a little bit less and i'm obsessed with it i've been using it over the last two months and Again, I don't know if it's a Morpheus 8 or if it's a combination of just having a really good routine and my hormones being okay and all these different things, but my skin has never been better. There are also a lot of really great products out there that are less expensive and provide really great results, but I really wanted to be honest with you guys about what I'm using personally. All right, we're almost done. That was it for my nighttime routine. Now, just really quick for my morning routine. Like I said earlier, less is better. My morning routine is pretty simple. About three or four times a week, if I have time, I will start off my morning with the new face microcurrent device i use it for about 10 15 minutes max i don't have it in me to use it for any longer but i'm a huge fan of them i think microcurrent is amazing that's again something that deborah really recommended for me to use you do have to be very consistent with it which i feel like i am um, but I try to be realistic in a sense that I can't do it every every single day. Then I'll just use a warm washcloth on my face and kind of take everything. Um, they give you like this little gel stuff to put on in order for the microcurrent to get to your muscles. So I'll wash that off with a warm washcloth. And I'll go in with my vitamin C. This one's actually from Pharmacy. I love Pharmacy so much. I think they are such a wonderful brand. I've been using it for the last two months and I really, really love it. Vitamin C is an antioxidant, so it just brightens up your face. It also helps protect you from free radicals. It's something that I feel like is very recommended by most dermatologists, so I definitely keep that in my routine. Then I'll go in with the same eye cream from Coco Kind and the Atmospheric Protection Cream from Osea. It's a perfect morning moisturizer because I really don't like when my skin feels too oily, so I wanted something that was a little bit more lightweight, and this is it. But I also need hydration, so it was really hard to find something that wasn't too like dewy, but was also very hydrating, and I feel like this, this is it. And then the next step, which is easily the most important step in your skincare routine, sunscreen. I wish I wore my sunscreen more when I was younger, although I do feel like once I entered my early 20s, we started having the conversation, people started talking about the importance of sunscreen, so I feel very lucky still. I know there are a lot of people who were way into their 30s when they realized that they needed to use sunscreen in order to help with aging and just overall skin discoloration, skin cancer, all these different things. So I have this one from Luzerne. This one just lives in my cabinet with all my other skincare items. And then this one's from Pharmacy and it just goes into my bag whenever I need to reapply it throughout the day. It's with me. And I am very, very diligent about reapplying my sunscreen. Yeah, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'll try and link everything in the description bar that I can find. If I can't find something, I'll try and link something similar that I love. 
I'm so out of breath. <laughs> this was probably the longest sit down video that I've ever filmed. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.